For this pizza, you are going to need garlic bread, chives, tomato puree, camembert, tarragon, snails, garlic, parsley, frog's legs, and of course, an exquisite French red wine. <coughs> also, cumin. Come in first. Squirt your tomato puree into a bowl and then add a dash of levin. I think that was too much. <laughs> Delicately mix the two together. How could this happen in me? Sprinkle your pizza board with flour. Now you must apply your puree and wine mix to the garlic bread. Then it's time to delicately place on your camembert. Sensually sprinkle on some tarragon, clean your snails, and spread them atop. Time for the garlic, and a dose of chives. Once you've lightly browned the frog's legs in a pan, apply them evenly to the pizza. A touch more tarragon, and then the cumin. The cumin. The, the cum... in. Me. <laughs> now you can celebrate with a moderate glass of wine. Ah! Pop it in the oven. Take it out of the oven! What are you doing? Make sure to slice the pizza into equal pieces, pose for a thumbnail, and serve the bad boy up. <laughs> it's time to eat. We've got a piece with snail on, a piece with, with frog leg on, and a piece with nothing on. Oh. Let's try the snail piece. Oh, what is that texture? Oh, oh. There's a bit of frog's legs on that, and they almost swallowed the butt. Oh, oh, that tastes so seafoody, so so French. What did I expect? Okay, like this time I've taken off the bones first, which is actually most of the the frog's legs. Let's give it a go. Wasn't all the bones? Was not all of the bones? Oh. I mean, aside from the bones and the snails, it's not too bad. So what have we learnt today? Snails taste like the sea, frog legs have bones in, and most importantly, do not drink port without coke. Oh, it's still bad!